Hello again. Nice to be with you for a few moments. I just want to share with you some thoughts uh, over the came over the past week uh, in connection with Sir Richard Branson's travel into space. You may remember that the billionaire ascended 53 miles into space last Sunday. His spaceship Unity flew at three times the speed of sound. He and his crew experienced four minutes of weightlessness. He said that nothing could have prepared him for the beautiful view of Earth from space. The total mission watched by millions over a live stream took just 65 minutes. As I read about his ascension, it reminded me, of course, of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, which we read about in Acts chapter 1 and verses 9 to 11. Let me read them to you. Jesus had told his disciples uh, that they were to go and to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. And then in verse 9 it says, After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand there? looking into the sky. This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Jesus himself had a personal ascension into heaven watched by just a few, his disciples, and with the promise that one day he would return again. As we read through scripture, we find that the second coming will be welcomed by Israel, the Jewish nation. That the second coming, Jesus will be the judge of the nations. But before those two events, he will be coming for his church. There's a wonderful passage in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, which uh, you ought to be familiar with. And at the end of that chapter, uh, we read these words, verse uh, 16 to the end for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first after that we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Jesus is coming again and we will be caught up into space but something will have happened before that takes place. At that moment, we shall receive our resurrection bodies. So we'll be caught up to meet him and we shall be with him and we shall be like him. And so 
as I read about uh, Sir Richard Branson's experience, it just reminded me that one day Christians are going to be caught up in the, into the air, into space. We shall be with the Lord and we shall be with him forever. As we often remind ourselves, the future is in God's hands and Jesus is coming again. Christ died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Let's just have a brief prayer. Heavenly Father, we are amazed at what we read in Scripture, the thought of our being transformed and being caught up into space. Yet we know that all things are possible with you. And just as Jesus had a resurrection body, so those who trust and believe in him will receive resurrection bodies. Keep us looking unto you, dear Lord, looking and anticipating that day when you will come again and we shall be with you forever. Bless us and make us a blessing in these needy days. We ask it for your glory. Amen. Okay, well, nice to be with you. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye and God bless.